In my previous video, we talked about nine new leaked cars that have been found in the files that may be coming to Horizon 5, such as the Maserati MT20, the KTM Expo GT2, and a few other crazy cars. Well, today there are even more things that have been found in the files, which we're all going to talk about right now. A new body kit, potentially, another confirmation of a car, Eliminati update, drag racing update, loads of leaks. Let's talk about them. So they come over from GT Planet as usual. I love the GT Planet forums. They are awesome. It comes from TGR55. He's usually the guy who snoops through the files. Here is what he has found as per the recent Series 24 update has been sort of looked through. He has found this new logo under the aftermarket logo section. This is the logo design of Seven Design House that currently only makes a body kit called Aria Carbon for the Maserati MC20. I'll pop up a picture on it on the screen so it speaks for itself really. The Maserati MC20 was one of the leaked cars a couple of days ago and now there's been a new aftermarket logo pop up potentially hinting at the Aria Carbon body kit being available for the MC20 if it comes to the game. Now again, we might never see the MC20 in the game, but it's looking increasingly likely, I'd say. And we may have a sick body kit to come with it. It is essentially a carbon body kit for the MC20. Now they have also found a sound file talking about the Drag Zone PR stunts that have been leaked a few times now. We've talked about this a couple of times. It's basically a text to speech. Now, I will play this audio file for you in a second, but you may remember we've talked about it twice before. A drag drag racing update was leaked in the files. We then saw information about there being drag race PR stunts or PR zones. Well, take a listen to this newly found sound file, which is sort of a text to speech. Looks like you've found one of the drag zone PR stunts. Park in the marked area to activate the drag lights. Start accelerating when the lights go green and get to the finish line as quick as you can. That sounds pretty cool. So what I'm imagining is the drag strip over at the, the main festival will have a little box that you can park in that will activate the PR stunt. So you don't need to go through any cutscene to get to this drag racing PR stunt thing. It just sort of activates itself once you're in the little box. And then that's, I presume, how you activate the drag lights, which we, that was also leaked as well. We are getting functional drag lights, sort of the, uh, you know, it tells you when to go. That's all going to be incorporated within the PR stunt. And that sound file has appeared. Maybe the drag racing, drag PR stunt, whatever update's coming, might be coming quite soon because lately we've been getting lots more hints at that. What else have we found? Well, do you remember the leaked update called the Eliminati? If you don't, quick recap. The Eliminator game mode had a duos game mode leaked a long I think it was over a year ago now, a very long time ago. Eliminator duos was supposed to be coming. It was called the Eliminati update. There were going to be Eliminati cars. There were lots of stuff leaked, but we've never seen it almost a year later. And TGR has found evidence that it may have been supposed to be introduced for Series 12. Now, Series 12 ended up being the Horizon Road Trip update, which, if I remember correctly, wasn't a bad update. Um, it seemed like it was supposed to be the Illuminati, and it wasn't. So whether that means that the Illuminati update is now cancelled and it's not coming at all, or it's just delayed, we're not sure. But yeah, I think the chances of that becoming a thing are now a lot less likely, seeing as it was supposed to come out over a year ago. But we'll have to wait and see. Um, another leak. There's just so many leaks today. We have this here, which is sort of a sheet of icons for the map. I'm sure you'll recognise half of them, all the PR stunts. You know what this is. You recognise all of them icons. Well, there's a few of them which we haven't seen in Forza Horizon 5 yet, as far as I'm aware. And this one here is the Horizon Backstage Pass icon. If you don't remember, the Backstage Pass was introduced to Forza Horizon 4, sort of when the series update stopped. And the Backstage Pass was an opportunity for everyone who missed out on all the exclusive cars to unlock them again. You could sort of get Backstage Pass tokens and you could pick these exclusive cars that you've missed out on so you don't not have them forever. And it seems like that will be introduced to Forza Horizon 5 at some point. We will have the opportunity to purchase these exclusive cars that are popping up in the festival playlist and then disappearing after that. So 
I mean, it was inevitable, really, it was probably going to come. To see this pop up in the files, whether that indicates that we are nearing the end of the update lifespan for Horizon 5, I'm not sure. I think we've still got quite a few updates to come, but eventually they are going to stop and the backstage pass will be there for people who have missed out. The icon above that, however, I don't recognize that and TGR55 pointed it out. I don't recognize it either. Do you guys recognize this from the, from anywhere on the map? I can't recall seeing it anywhere. Maybe it's a future feature, a future update. We're going to see that icon appear. Maybe it is the drag racing PR stunt icon because it's with all the other PR stunts. It's the same shape. It's the same color as the drag racing triangle down here. So I would say my guess is that that is the drag racing PR stunt icon that we spoke about a few minutes ago. So yet again, more evidence of a drag racing update. Those are all the leaks that he talked about and it leaves a lot of questions really. Uh, we know that the backstage pass is coming now. Combining this with the leaks a couple of days ago from the nine cars we spoke about, I really, really think that the Maserati MC20 will be coming to Horizon 5. I'll be extremely surprised if it doesn't at this point. The next update for Horizon 5 is Horizon Creatives, so that doesn't sound like it will have the drag racing update within it because it seems mainly event lab related, sort of creative related. So it doesn't seem like that's when we'll get it. We might get the MC20, I suppose but certainly not the drag racing PR stunts. I think this is the third time now we've had updated leaks on the drag racing stuff, so that seems increasingly likely. Can't say the same for the Illuminati update because that has been given no attention whatsoever since it was leaked over a year ago. So I think that's probably on the back burner for now. I don't think we're gonna see that. Not to mention the Eliminator game mode in general, I, I forget it even exists half of the time. I never see Playground Games even talk about it on the streams or on anything like that. I never see them mention it, which is a shame because it had a lot of potential. Maybe that's the reason they put the duos game mode on to the sidelines and they didn't bother with it if series 12 we'll have to wait and see so if you're worrying about the future of horizon 5 updates there's still plenty to come we've still got these we've spoke about today the backstage pass will come at some point which is probably around when we'll see a slow downturn of what we get in the updates and how frequent they are if they're stopping doing updates on horizon 5 that means they're working on something else i think 2024 which is only four months away by the way I think that'll be a year to start thinking about Horizon 6. Horizon 6 is not going to come out next year, I don't think anyway, but we can start thinking about it then. Um, yeah, we're well into Horizon 5's lifespan now, almost two years. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you're looking forward to the most that we spoke about today. As usual, thank you to TGR55 for snooping through the files. He's essentially giving me content to share with you guys. So leave a like if you've enjoyed, guys. See you all later.